welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Emily. Uh, today I got an exciting video for you guys. I'm going to be giving you my 100% honest review on Snoop Crunch, and I'm really excited to talk about it, bef but before we get into talking about it, I do wanna say I'm changing things around a little bit. I am not going to be giving ratings anymore. The reason being is I find the rating system is quite flawed. And that being said is, I just think that when someone has like a just average slime, let's just say a basic white slime, um, if it's a good basic white slime, it's always going to be five. There's not like, what do you base the rating system off of? It's completely flawed in my opinion. And with that being said, I am I'm taking it away. I want to be able to give constructive criticism and good points, and I don't think I can do that with the rating with the rating system that's in place right now. So I am going to be taking it away. I feel like when I rate five out of five, I cannot give constructive criticism. For an example, being like, "Oh, this slime was great, but it lacked the creativity." Now I get to say that because I'm taking away the rating system, so it's going to be easier for me to talk about these slimes and constructive criticism and good feedback. So that is why I'm taking it away. I do want you guys to comment down below on what you think about that after watching this video, see how you actually like it, and yeah, just let me know. Now anyway, back to Snoop Crunch. I am really excited to show you guys this video. Um, I really wanted to buy from Snoop Crunch, but her shipping was actually $60 because of Etsy, so I was kind of like, uh, that's too expensive for me, but I reached out to her and she gave me 25% off, so I was able to get those slimes and uh, it just, it reflected the shipping price for me, which was amazing. Because of that, I find that she has great customer service and she's always there and always answers my DMs or any questions or concerns that I have. So that is amazing. You know if you have any problems, she's going to get back to you right away. But with all that being said, I'm excited to show you guys this video. So let's get into it. But before we do, make sure to join the Mako Frenzy by hitting that subscribe button and comment down below about your favorite slime from this video and how you feel about me taking out the rating system. And show me that you like this video by hitting that like button. Now you know what time it is. Welcome to the Shark Tank. You should click that start game button. Today's shoutouts are Slime Tastic and Cookie. If you want to be shot out like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into this package. As soon as I opened this box, there was those air packet things to keep all the slimes from not moving. And then there was a baby pink light tissue paper. And then as soon as I opened the box, I was surprised with a lot of care cards, including borax and high chews in each one of them. I got four bags of those total, and they are very detailed care instructions and care guide. As soon as I finished unpacking those out of the box, I seen that everything was bubble wrapped properly and nothing moved in transit. The only thing I did notice is my clay ice cream scoop I got um, got a little squished, but it's not to worry about because I know I'll be able to fix it easily. In total, I ordered five slimes with the discount she gave me, and that would be priced at around $80. The five slimes that I did order are Tequila Sunrise, Banana Berry Bingsu, Unicorn Frappuccino, Mango Peach, Sour Krispies, and then as soon as I was unboxing this, I noticed that she included a free slime as well as a free deli container. I do want to mention that all these containers are very sturdy and unbreakable containers, meaning if you drop them, they will not crack. I also noticed that her top logos are slime proof, meaning if you get slime on them, they will not peel off. I noticed that some of the slime description labels are slime proof. The ones that are printed out are slime proof. The ones that are just labeled as the text word are not slime proof, meaning if you get slime on them, they will pull the label off. Everything arrived in a very good timeline. Everything was secure and one slime did have a little leakage, but not too bad to be honest with you. I found the packing was amazing and I just can't wait to show you guys these slimes.
Okay, so this first slime that we're going to be talking about is the free slime I received. Now this free slime I received is 6 ounces, so I just want to take a moment and thank you so much Snoop Crunch for giving me this free slime. I am so appreciative of it. Alright, so as soon as I open this container, I can just smell sweet deliciousness of beautiful slime. It is a very light pink color and I could just tell by looking at the texture that this is going to be a really creamy butter slime. I noticed the bottom of this slime has little confetti pieces as well as little colored sprinkles. So I'm assuming it's like some kind of birthday theme or something like that. Something very fun and funfetti kind of thing. And that's exactly kind of what the scent resembled it as. It was like sweet and just, just really nice. I do want to mention that all these slimes did need a little bit of activator, but that is very typical in these summer months, so there's nothing wrong about that. Especially when she provided me four borax bags, it's definitely okay. All the slimes that I will start to play with before I inflate them is the texture before activating them. So you get to see kind of what they were like as not so activated, just so, just so you could just see. Anyway, this was a beautiful creamy slime just as I expected. It had so much creaminess to it and I do want to say that like I noticed with all the clay slimes I did buy from Snoop Crunch, every single one of them is very creamy. I really enjoy the clay she uses. I think it's amazing. I think it's such a soft texture. Especially when you're inflating these slimes, you'll notice that like they give more sizzles too. Like they have the little air pockets when you look at it. And I just think that's because of the type of clay she uses. It's just really creamy. I found that the slime inflated very easily and stretched really nicely. I really enjoy this free slime and honestly, it's just beautiful. I love the clay texture she has into the slime and as you can see, it just gets so puffy and those air pockets I was talking about. It also gives mini bubble pops and yeah, I really enjoyed this one and I honestly think she should keep this texture around because I think it's just immaculate. This next slime is called Banana Berry Bingsu. This is a scented Bingsu bead slime and the theme is banana and strawberry. This is 6 ounces of slime priced at $12.59. This is a multicolored Bingsu bead slime and I obviously had to get a Bingsu bead slime because currently Bingsu beads are my favorite texture. Especially when they are done right, they are just amazing. As soon as I open this slime, this is the one that did leak a little bit, and honestly, it wasn't bad at all. As I just said before, all these slimes did need to be activated a little bit, but I was surprised to notice that this wasn't too mixed in transit, especially with them melting more, you know that they're going to probably mix better because they'll be glue more than slime. But because of this multicolored slime, it was like kind of like a orangey yellow color on the one side and then a light strawberry pink on the other side. You could see that on the top of the slime had little strawberry fimo slices as well as the bottom had strawberry and banana fimo slices. I'm pretty sure she used iridescent bingsu beads in this and the reason I say that is because when you stretch it, you could just see the shiny glimmery bingsu beads. This had a light scent of banana and strawberry. It wasn't too strong, so anyone with sensitive noses would enjoy that scent. I found that I was loving this ratio between the clear slime and the bingsu beads. The reason being is because if you put too many bingsu beads in, I find that it's really hard to stretch a slime. And if you don't put enough in, you don't feel that crunchy aspect to the slime. And I feel like this slime had a perfect ratio. The more you stretch the slime, the more the color changes. It changes from the nice clear peachy color that it was at the beginning 
to a really light peachy color. And with those iridescent Bingsu beads, they just glimmer through the slime, which is beautiful. Bingsu bead slimes are great for beginner, sli <laughs> beginner slimers that want to get into like crunchy slimes, kind of like block bead slimes, because they aren't so soft in your hands, but they do give a crunch. So if you do have sensitive hands and want to start into crunchy slimes, I feel like Bingsu beads are a great idea because they're not super aggressive. Because of the Bingsu bead to slime ratio, this slime was just so stretchy. I could even pull it up and give little bubble pops that way, which is not usual for Bingsu bead slimes because they're usually too packed to do that. But when you were able to create a bubble like that, it gave amazing crunches just by itself. And you could just squish your fingers into it and hear the sizzles it gives once you inflate it. I find this slime is absolutely phenomenal. The only thing I would have changed is more scent, but that is just personal preference because I really did enjoy this scent. I just wanted more of it, which is never a bad thing. This next item we have here is actually Sour Krispies, and this is a six ounce slime priced at $13.64. So the slime texture is actually a slushy bead butter slime. So like you get to mix in a little clay piece as the topper into a slushy bead. This is a really cool and unique texture that I don't see a lot of shops doing, especially with slushy beads. I notice a lot of shops will just keep a basic white glue texture or even a clear glue texture for a slushy bead slime. I think the main reason is because slushy beads tend to fall out of slime, especially when it has more of like a clay texture because it's not super sticky at all, so it doesn't hold the beads as well. When opening this slime, I could definitely tell this was the most melted slime in the package. So what I did was just try to separate the bottom of it because the bottom is actually like a white, white color, white sort of color versus the top, which is a purple color. And I like I didn't want to mix it melted. So I just grabbed that bottom base and just activated it before mixing the slime in together. When opening it, you can see the clay piece is just like a little destroyed. I think the melted slime deflated it a bit, making it kind of just the clay piece swirl together, sort of. But you can still see those Fimo slices of the little flower happy faces and all that. I think they're so cute, by the way. And so after I activated it, I just put it back on the bottom and then squished it together. I could smell the scent and it was a quite unique scent, I'm going to be honest with you. It's listed as a grape soda, but honestly, I don't know if it's the label of it saying sour, but I, it has like a sour scent to it as well. It is a very unique scent. There's nothing wrong with it. I personally like it. I just find it is quite different. It smells like a grape sourness. Like I said, it could be because the label's called sour and my mind might be playing games with me. Anyway, when you mix this clay in, you can just feel the creamy texture go into the slushy beads. It turns the slime into a lighter purple because the clay piece was actually a little bit darker purple, but when it mixed into that white slime, it turned into that lighter purple color. As I was mixing, I noticed that there was zero bead fallout, which always impresses me because I know how hard it can be to get these textures like no fallout at all, especially with how packed this slushy bead was. I would say it's about 60% ratio of slushy beads and 40% slime and clay which is such a soft texture. As I said before with the free slime, I noticed that her clay slimes or her clay that she uses is so soft and creamy. And this is the exact same thing with this slime. I noticed that the more I would pull it, it's just like so creamy. I, I don't know why. I just noticed that this is such a creamy texture. To be honest with you, I haven't felt this sort of texture in a long time. I think Kawaii's butter slimes are very similar to this. And that's what I love about them is just the creaminess. Because of that, it just it feels so soft on your hands, but not wet. I notice when people use too much lotion, they're really soft, but have a like wet residue, and this slime did not have it at all. 
which makes me very impressed because it just makes me going back to this slime over and over again. As the other slimes, this one is very easily able to stretch and gives those amazing crunches. You would think with the butter slime on top of the slushy bead, it wouldn't crunch as much because the clay would be like a mat of protection kind of thing for it to give those aggressive bubble pops. It didn't so give aggressive bubble pops, but it gave like many little crunches and bubble pops, which was very satisfying. Especially when stretching the slime, there was nothing wrong for sensitivity. It felt like a creamy texture over any kind of slushy beads. I'm very impressed with the slime. The only thing that kind of sucked was the look of it when it arrived, but that is not her fault at all. <laughs> and I understand that shipping just kind of destroys things sometimes, and it's very frustrating. But I know this slime was supposed to be very beautiful. It just kind of arrived a little mess. It's kind of like, you know, when you wake up in the morning, yeah, it, it kind of woke up in the morning, so that is okay, but I am for sure in love with this slime, and I just love the beautiful light purple color it has, and the amazing crunches, and you can just squish your hands in the slime and just be so satisfied. Okay, so now we have Tequila Sunrise. This is actually listed as a block bead and sugar scrub slime. This is six ounces priced at $14.69. The funny thing was when I actually opened this, I wasn't expecting a block bead slime. I don't know why. I know I ordered it and it's right in the title, but I just thought it was a sugar scrub slime. So it was a pleasant surprise to me because I love block bead slimes. Obviously, when I took the slime out of the container, I did notice it was slightly melted, and I believe this was supposed to be a two-tone slime, but it mixed in transit, which is totally okay because of the heat. I noticed the slime had a lot to it. There was a lot to the slime. It had a beautiful cherry red color, and it was packed with slushy beads, and it had not too many block beads, so honestly, if you do want to try block bead slime, but don't want to try full block bead slime, this is great too, because it only has, I don't know, like 10 block beads or something like that. It's not like a huge ratio. I also noticed there's lots of like orange and yellow sprinkles in there, as well as orange female slices and just stuff like that. It was nice and it was just a surprise. This slime kind of reminded me of like a surprise bag. Because the more I played with this slime, the more I noticed. And I didn't read the description, so I just found these when I was playing with it. Like, at the very start, I noticed there was, like, a tangerine slice as a charm. And I was like, what? What the heck? There's a, there's a slime charm in here? And I was really confused. And I was, well, pleasantly surprised with it. And then I just kept playing with it. And then next thing you notice, I noticed a cherry charm. And I'm like, what? What the heck? This is seriously a surprise. I'm like, well, that is cool. I got a tangerine charm and a cherry charm. And then I kept playing with it. And then I noticed a little ice cube charm. I was really surprised because I just wasn't expecting the charms in the slime. And it was just, it was like a little mystery box of slime. So I was really happy with that. Anyway, this slime is listed as scented as listed as, scented as, what am I talking about? It's scented as orange juice and cherry. To me, it has like a very fruit punchy kind of scent. So it's very good and fruity, just like a classic scent. I love this kind of scent. Obviously I had to activate it a little bit, but that is no problem at all. I did overactivate the slime, so I'm sorry for that. Other than that, I noticed this had quite a bit of clear base as well. So that made it easily able to stretch versus a full packed slime. Once stretching, you could see it turns into kind of like a metallic reddy orange color, which is absolutely beautiful. 
and the block beads were all red in color which gave it that little kind of like fiery look. I absolutely love it. And the sugar scrub ratio was pretty good. It wasn't like a full sugar scrub so it depends on what kind of slime you're going for but it was really awesome because you were able to stretch this perfectly. And it didn't hurt my hands either which was pretty awesome. I do notice with Snoop Crown, she has a lot of different variety of textures, which is phenomenal. Obviously, I went with the crunchy slimes for all these. I don't know why, but I'm really into crunchy slimes lately, and I, the fact that she had all these textures available was amazing, because even with big, massive shops, I noticed they don't have these kind of textures, and I think that they just, it's because of the fact, um, you know, bead fallout and all that. But honestly, Snoop Crunch does it very well, and I'm very impressed with their crunchy slimes, and I really recommend them, honestly. This slime brought me right back to the tropics, and I'm very happy about that. It smelled just so fruity and beautiful, so I'm very happy with this texture as well. Okay, now we have mango peach shaved ice, and this is a scented snow fizz slime. I'm not too sure about the container because it does say Snoop Bucks. I'm not sure if this is the right container or not, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Anyway, this is a multicolored snow fizz slime, and this actually comes with a one ounce like syrup to put on the top of it and a little umbrella thing you can put in it. I haven't touched one of these in forever so it's super fun to just be able to put that in. Anyway this is a six ounce slime plus the one ounce of syrup priced at $14.69. The one half of the slime is colored a beautiful bright orange color and the other side is a beautiful bright yellow. If you look at the top of the container I don't know if it's just me but it kind of looks like a brain when it, it, it's just it kind of looks like a brain to me I don't know why but you know that's why I'm weird. Anyway, I really liked assembling this. I like the clear kind of opaque slime. I feel like it's a clear slime with a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of white glue. And honestly, it was just really fun to decorate myself. I'm not sure what I was decorating it as because I just messed this up completely. But whatever, it's okay. I can have fun my, in my own ways. All right, all right. So this is actually scented as mango peach. And I feel like this was one of my favorite scents of this whole package. Reason being, as soon as I popped off that container lid, I could smell the beautiful aromas of this tropical scent. It was beautiful. I never expected mango and peach to smell good together, like I've just never thought about it. And it smelted, it smelted, it smelled just amazing. And I really like the smell of it. It wasn't a light scent, so I'm very happy with the amount of scent. I feel like it was one of the stronger scents, and I'm, I love that. I really love slime for its scent. Now, I will say that this is a very packed snow fizz. So when you see me take this out of the container, the easiest way to do this for any kind of packed slime and the crunchy slimes that I did before this is just squish the sides of your container and then kind of just like try to like shake it up and down to force the slime out. I find this works really well on trying to get out like uh, packed slimes packed with whatever it is, in this case snow fizz. Snow fizz is different than instant snow. Snow fizz is like a plastic snow that doesn't absorb water or anything. So it gives a very specific kind of texture and crunch like for ASMR sounds. There's a couple different types of snow fizz textures and I just kind of want to help you guys out a little bit before I talk more about this slime. Um, what I noticed is a lot of shops are going to this really full packed snow fizz and I recommend them more for advanced slimers. The reason being is I even have trouble finding out if these slimes are overactivated or underactivated. And because they just give different textures, you'll either notice when you receive your slime, it's not like the video you watched or whatever. It's probably because of shipping or overactivation or underactivation. 
If you see here, when I push down the slime, it has residue on the table and it's quite crumbly. Now, this is what happens with Pax Snow Fizz slimes. You can't tell if it's overactivated or underactivated. If it crumbles and like kind of crumbles into little pieces, it is underactivated, meaning add little amounts of activator until it starts to stick together. And then keep stretching and keep stretching until your hands warm it more, and then you might want to add a little bit more activator at a time. If your slime is overactivated, you will notice mass amounts of ripping, and you just won't be able to stretch it. So crumbly, underactivated, ripping, overactivated. I hope this helps any of you guys out because I notice with snow fizz slimes that are packed like this, it is so difficult to tell the difference. And you might be frustrated with this shop or the slime, and it's just really easy to fix. Anyway, when mixing the slime in together, it turns into a beautiful neon kind of orange pigment color, which is absolutely beautiful. And once I got it to the perfect activation point, it just gives mass amounts of sizzles. This is one of my favorite slimes for ASMR properties because you could just, it, it has sizzles, not necessarily crunches, but lots of sizzles, and that's what a snow fizz does. It's very fizzy, if you get it. <laughs> snow fizz is fizzy. I love it. It gives great stretches when activated, and you could just squish your hands in this a million times, and it just doesn't stop sizzling. I really enjoy this texture, and as long as you're prepared for what it will arrive like, I really do recommend them. And I do like how shops are showing these kinds of slimes more often, but I think a lot of people need to add a little more care instructions for these Pax Snow Fizz slimes, just because I feel like they're one of the harder textures for a lot of beginner slimers to understand on like what's wrong with them. But other than that, oh, I'm, I'm in love with this one as well. Last but not least, we have Unicorn Frappuccino. This is a DIY clay slime, and I'm really excited to show you this. So we get a base of slime that is six ounces, plus a huge clay topper and a one ounce slime, as well as add-ins and a straw. And this is priced at $16.79. So let's get into talking about the base of this slime first. As soon as I opened this container, I just noticed that thick and glassy texture. Obviously, it wasn't super thick because I did have to activate these, but you could just tell the glossiness to this beautiful slime. I found it was a quite a pretty purple, like a darkerish color purple, and you could just see the glossy texture in this slime. Like I could probably see my whole reflection through this slime. Because of that, I didn't want to activate it right away, just so you could just kind of see it. And for it being melted, well not melted, but you know, just underactivated, it was still so clicky. You could push your fingers in that slime and hear all of the aggressive clicks from doing that. This slime is scented as cotton candy, but to me, it smells like cotton candy tubes. I'll, I'll post a photo here, and yeah, it smells exactly like this to me, and honestly, I am in love with these things. I found them one day, and I don't stop eating them since. And yeah, so it had like a yogurt scent to it, but cotton candy yogurt. And it, yeah, it's super weird, but really cool. I really enjoyed this. So this texture was really easy to inflate, especially add after adding a little amount of activator and gave great crunches just like a normal thick and glossy texture. Once playing with it and inflating, it gets super matte, but if you were to leave this texture for a night or so, it would get right back to the glossy texture afterwards. But obviously, I'm not going to leave it this texture because I'm going to be adding in the clay ice cream scoop and all that. So what I really like about this whole DIY setup is it includes like a frappuccino kind of container with a straw even, 
And she included a free deli container, which I'll show at the end of the video, which I'm very appreciative of. So including this frappuccino container, you also get a free deli container, which is amazing. I notice a lot of shops are going to this no container kind of thing. So when you're getting a DIY clay slime or something like that, they're not giving you an extra container. And because of that, you have nowhere to put your slime, so you got to find a bag or whatever you do. I don't know what you do, but <laughs> I find it kind of frustrating, but Snoop Crunch definitely provides extra containers for this reason, and you always have somewhere to put your extra slime. So we're going to get into assembling the slime, and it was very easy. I fixed the clay scoop that the post office people decided to destroy, and it was very easy. It was pink and blue swirled and had lots of iridescent sprinkles on it. I did have to activate the one ounce slime quite a bit. It was pretty much glue, but it was really easy. And the best way I found to do this with the sprinkles is actually just put the sprinkles in the one ounce base. That way sprinkles weren't all over the place when you're trying to put them on the top. So I, that's what I've been doing lately and it's just really easy. So with the little frappuccino container, I just put the main base in the bottom of it and the clay piece on top with my swirl of extra add-ins and then a straw to top it off with. I found this beautiful and just aesthetically so pleasing. Once mixing in the clay, you could just tell like this clay is absolutely beautiful. I'll say it again, I'll say it once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it three times. This clay is phenomenal. It has that soft, 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 creamy texture and I'm in love with it. I really love it. Mixing this clay into the base was no problem at all. It turned into a creamy butter slime, especially with the size of the clay piece. I really feel like you get a lot of clay for the price of the slime, and I'm very happy with that. And the scent does not go away at all, especially with the size of the clay piece. You'd expect the scent to be like non-existent anymore. And it is very much still there and predominant, so I'm very happy about that. When mixing the clay in, it does change the color of the slime just slightly lighter purple, not too much. And I did find those add-ins actually gave like a little texture to like this butter slime, clay slime, whatever you want to say, kind of texture. Overall, I'm really happy with the amount of slime you get and inflating the slime, it just gets so puffy. And it, this one has quite a bit of bubble pops because of that thick and glossy base. So I'm just really happy with this and I almost wish I bought more clay slimes from Snoop Crunch, especially because like they were just, I was very impressed with the clayness, clay, clay part to the slime. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I really do recommend trying one of Snoop Crunch's clay slimes. I think she's just incredible with them and they are very aesthetic and <laughs> very, she just has so many options for them. So you just really can't go wrong with it. Mako's Picks, number five, Tequila Sunrise, number four, Banana Berry Bingsu, number three, Mango Peach Shaved Ice, number two, Unicorn Frappuccino, number one, Sour Krispies, I know that's surprising too. I didn't expect me to pick the Sour Krispies either. I found this selection of Mago's picks was very hard to pick what was my favorite. I really enjoyed them all. And honestly, I was not expecting Snoop Crunch to be this good. It's nothing against her, but I know that she's very young, but she is very talented. I know that has nothing to do with anything, but I'm just saying like she's very talented. Wow, it's just phenomenal. I was honestly very, very impressed with the textures and the quality of slime, especially with how many options she has. I know she's working her butt off in school and she's pulling out these massive restocks all the time, so you just gotta give her a round of applause for that. 
yeah, I'm just very happy with my whole order. I will be ordering from her again for sure. And next time I will be getting more DIY slimes because she has such a strong suit in these DIY clay slimes. They're very phenomenal and very like detailed. So I'm very happy with that. As always, I will have her website linked down below and you make sure to check her out because she is phenomenal. Before you leave, make sure to join the Make a Frenzy by hitting that subscribe button as well as comment down below your favorite slime from this video. I always love to hear your guys' choices. Make sure to show me you like this video by hitting that like button. I'll see you guys next time.